Welcome to Monday, December the 7th. I'm Pastor Jim Krieger from Holy Cross Lutheran Church and School in Saginaw, Michigan, celebrating God's Holy Word with you today in our daily devotion. The Word of God from Ephesians chapter 4, verse 7. But grace was given to each one of us according to the measure of Christ's gift. The relationship that each sinner can have with God is a relationship that flows through the blood of his Son, Jesus Christ, who was sent from heaven to earth to be the sin offering for all sinners on the earth. There is no other way to approach Almighty God on his heavenly throne except through the gift of saving faith in the sacrificial death and resurrection of his son Jesus. The unmerited favor that God shows toward us, his disposition of unconditional love towards us, is a blessing that comes to sinners through Jesus. This kindness, this favor from our Father in heaven, is the very essence of the word grace, a word we can both celebrate and remember by this phrase. God's riches at Christ's expense. Remember just two chapters ago in Ephesians 2, 8 to 9, how the grace of our Father in heaven, which is his loving disposition towards all people and his undeserved kindness, is given and received. Let's revisit those words as the act which God alone can take and the resulting blessings which God alone can provide. For by grace you have been saved through faith. And this is not your own doing. It is the gift of God, not a result of works, so that no one may boast. God's love, tender mercy, and kindness toward us provide the blessings of the cross of Jesus Christ to all who believe and forgiveness of sins, and the promise-filled hope of everlasting life in heaven. God does not withhold his love and mercy and kindness from any sinner. For God so loved the world that he gave his only Son. God's unconditional love and his earthly blessings are abundantly given to all sinners. His unconditional love also sent Jesus to be the Savior for sinners, the Savior who alone earned forgiveness of sins that God gives to those who possess saving faith in his Son and the resulting gift of eternal life in heaven. While God's grace is offered freely to all sinners, the resulting indwelling of that grace in believers is accompanied by gifts which also come through that saving relationship with Christ, gifts which are also given and worked through the gift and power of the Holy Spirit. And some of those special gifts of the Spirit will be studied in later verses of chapter 4. For now, may the loving favor and disposition, and grace of God in his Son Jesus, and the gifts that come from his unconditional love, fill you with joy this day, and lead you to daily prayers of thanksgiving to your Father in heaven. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, thank you for your unconditional love for all sinners and your unmerited grace given to all who believe in Jesus as your one and only Son and the only Savior sent to deliver us from our sins. Daily we live and do battle against the devil, the world, and our sinful flesh. So daily we live our lives under your much-needed and undeserved grace. We therefore ask your Holy Spirit to continue leading us in holy living, that honors your daily gift, and with daily lives that bring glory to your name. We also ask your Holy Spirit to continue to make his dwelling place in us, 
and daily shape our lives that we may lead others to also come to know the reason for the hope we have each and every day. In your Son, our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, who taught your people to pray together. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine on you and be gracious to you. The Lord look upon you with his favor, and this day bring you peace in Jesus. Amen.